Playing Survivor can feel really mechanically difficult for new players, so much so that your chases end up not really lasting very long at all and leading to your sacrifice far more often than you like. For today's boot camp, we watched a player who had tons of hours in Killer but had never really dabbled too hard with Survivor. So, in partnership with Dead by Daylight, this is DBD Boot Camp. If you are newer to the game, I have three really simple tips for survivors who are getting started. One, have an escape plan. Two, react to the killer. And three, don't be afraid of being chased. For tip one, we're talking escape plans. Too often in DBD, survivors are caught off guard while working on gens or healing, and they flounder, unsure of where to run to next to evade the killer. As a good rule of thumb when you're doing anything stationary, it may be best to look for a good exit strategy in the event that you need one. To do so, you'll be looking for pallets or windows. Pallets, of course, stand tall, indicated by their blue and red boards. Windows look just like this. Both of these spawn in varying areas across a map, but are most commonly found near these structures with tall walls, and these are referred to as tiles. Now, in our boot camp, our player did a pretty good job of looking around and trying to be aware of the killer. However, when pressed by the killer, they opted to go a bit out of their way for safety instead of playing more nearby safe points like these pallets. Kudos for tricking the wraith here, though. Actively seeking out these obstacles so that you may leave your gen or heal and head for safety is really important in buying your team time. Just be sure you don't enact your plan until you are sure the killer is targeting you. You don't want to be caught wasting precious time and being very skittish and scared and hiding near a pallet every single time you hear the teeniest tiniest terror radius. Now for tip two, we are building on what we just learned and discussing reacting to the killer. Look, when you're new to DBD, you're likely going to find pallets and windows and just use them, no questions asked, assuming the killer is right on your trail the entire time. And this isn't necessarily a bad assumption. However, as you play more, you'll find the killers seem to outsmart you at every turn. This may be because the killers are predicting your plan of action and cutting you off. In this survivor's initial chase, they did get to a pallet, and I praise their patience here for a moment, but they ultimately threw the pallet a bit soon. If you're looking for where a killer is coming from, your best bet is to try and grab some of the corners opposite of where the killer is. Because survivors can see around walls, you can see the killer coming, and this will allow you to have better info when looping and have better information for when to throw the pallet. As you run from killers, you will need to learn to look behind you and react to their movements instead of blindly enacting your escape plan. Your escape plan has gotten you to safety, now you need to play around that safety. For example, I know where my nearest window is and I head to that when I see that the killer has locked onto me. As we loop this LT tile, I'm checking behind me to see where the killer is and even baiting out his power. At the first opportunity I can, I actually leave the loop to a loop that I know is a little bit stronger. Reacting to the killer here instead of just blindly doing what I think is best was the key to not taking a hit at all. As a sub tip, be sure you're panning quickly between looking behind you and looking in front of you so that you can continue to line up and adjust where you're going and your trajectory and so that you don't get stuck on obstacles as often. Now finally, we're on to tip three, which is a really easy one. Don't be afraid to be chased and to practice. Look, if you win a bunch of DVD games by playing with friends or hiding in solo queue, your MMR will continue to inflate and there will come a time where killers feel really oppressive to you. So get your practice in early while you're still paired with killers who are learning too. These tips aside, we're going to go ahead and play the unedited footage from our bootcamp match. And if you want to be part of the DVD bootcamp, be sure to join our Discord and follow us over on Twitch where we do them live every single week. Be sure you guys unclench your jaw and get some water. Let's dive right in. Chat, I'm having a fish taco. We're not talking about it. We're not going to taco about it. <clears throat>
Right, do not. No one's in chase. There he is. No. I just saw it. Must have been just a glare. Yeah, I think you guys have done pretty good so far in terms of paying attention and stuff. I think that's a good first time. Right, we're about to pop two gens. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, you were what about to pop that? two gens. <laughs> it sounds like oppression. So it sounds like he kicked a different gen and then they gave you a hard skill check. You guys are doing a good job. Nia. Okay, Ooh. they got the unhook. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Because I can barely hear you. And maybe me have to turn up my stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I might just be quiet for you. Okay. It happens. <clears throat> it's also the game up all the way. Yeah. yeah, I think my game's at 10%. So. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Good job. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, I see you. Oh, go for him. Go for him. Oh, that works. Oh, I didn't take it. Okay. Okay. We got some things we could talk about, Clark. Yeah, that's okay. You're doing a pretty good job, though, all things considered. Oh, nope, didn't. Good, good patience. I tried. Yeah. I tried. Hi, Siren. Good to see you. Thought I'd at least get a medium ball out of that, but I did not. Pallet? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd get a medium vault at least, but I did not. I th well, you got a out of the window. You got a medium. It just yeah, it wasn't the fast. Was it a medium? Oh, it looked like that looked yeah. slower than a medium. Yeah, if it if it makes the sound, it's a medium. If it's silent, it's oh, a slow. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. That's okay. Oh, that makes sense. You're right. Let's see. All right. There we go. Not an ideal healing spot. There's nothing to yeah. protect you except this body. <laughs> <laughs> so just keep that in mind. You, yeah, you definitely want to... Good to know. Yeah, like oh, that yeah. down pallet over there might be a much safer spot, you know? Okay. Yeah, you stuff know, like that I don't think about. There's enough killers that come back to hook that if... It, I don't know. If they came back and just saw you healing, ugh, that's just... Yeah. That's, uh, mm -hmm. that's a tunnel accusation, you know? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. One of those forced tunnels. Mm-hmm. So here you're, you know, ideally, yeah, you're good. You should be good anyway. What was that? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the, the big thing is always having your escape plan when you're on the gen. So, yeah, your escape plan is mm -hmm. definitely that, that if, if you can, get to the get to the pallet, the Z wall if you can't. Uh, mm -hmm. But, yeah. So the Z wall, which is the one that's back over there, I'm straight ahead to my left. Yeah, so the one behind you would be ideal because the killer okay. will catch you if you go to the other one. But that's that's okay. it, that's only if the wraith is cutting you off from the pallet to your right. Ideally, you want to use okay. that pallet. But gotcha. I don't see a pallet though. Uh, turn right. Nope, you're going too far. Right there. Oh, okay, gotcha. That yeah, pallet. yeah, yeah. That one is not hard for them to play around, but it gives you something. Good job, pain resonance. I don't think he has. It hasn't gone off yet, but... No, I think they're doing a kick build. Probably ah. nowhere to hide. Oppression, Brian? Jolt. Or a kick? Yeah. All right, we're about to knock off both these gens. All right, so... I need to either go save. So, solo queue-wise, should I go for the save right now, or yeah, should I stay on save. this gen? Go for the save? Yeah, because if he if he gets this hook or slugs and goes for the person unhooking the other person, that's three people down. Mm -hmm. Your your one gen completion yeah. really isn't gotcha. gonna matter Perfect. for much. You know? All right. 
Cool. I see. You can flex over to the save the other person then, since they just unhooked. Yeah, he's in chase with Ada. You're good to go. Yep. And then you you all can reset, and then you can hit your gen, right? Because if he's busy over here, he's not going to kick it or anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. They'll heal up. Nice, yeah. So if you ever see one person go down, or one person hooked, and then a second mm -hmm. person go down, yeah, I, I would have the whole team okay. move to unhook. Because if, if yeah. the killer chooses to slug or something, the whole okay. team could be put in a really bad spot. Gotcha. Yeah, especially oh, if it's a plague hold. or uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just hold themselves? <laughs> Maybe, I think they might be moving to the I don't gym. see the... I don't see the... Nice. Good job. I don't see the chase with my... So... It must be way out there. Yeah. I'm going to go this door. Because <laughs> I can't see the to the bond, I'm going to go out this door. Well, I need more chases. We, we yeah, you stay in for one. Pick the, those gens. I think there was some good, like, micro-management yeah. stuff that we talked mm -hmm. about, too. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you 99 it. Or, actually, you could just... Yeah, I'll yeah, just... That'll work. Yeah. I mean, go find some trouble, I guess. <laughs> I don't see anybody. Ah, seems like the... Yeah, nobody's in chase, technically, so... Yep. Oh, yeah, she, she's in chase right there. There you go, yeah. If nothing else, go get flashlight safe practice. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need to be a lot closer for a flashy. You need to be within like five, six meters, probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do have the perk that gives you that, but oh, yeah. you'll still be mm -hmm. way out of position. Okay. We're Grape, done. you bitch. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wraith. Oh, oh, she just got she's a, hooked down here. <laughs> grab? What was that? That was interesting. Must have been a, wind, a vault. Yeah, maybe? I think I got grabbed off the door. I'll just take the chase. Nope, didn't make it. Oh, that's a rock. Ah! Nope, took it. Yeah, I see you, Ada. Hatch race. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you should make it out. There's still a lot of good stuff to talk about, I think. Oh, nope. I think Ada's getting picked. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. 